Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how I made this very simple over the stove shelf just to maximize space in my kitchen. So this is what the space looked like before. Over on the left side we keep a lot of snacks and things because we don't have a pantry. So this is also where I keep my salt and pepper over on this little two-tiered tray and then over on the right side is where I keep my oil. And then I have this hanging rack behind the stove where I like to have things that I just want easily accessible whenever I'm cooking. So I figured if I could create a little shelf over my stove then I could move my salt and pepper and things on that to just kind of free up some space on the countertops. I took a little trip to Lowe's just to pick up a few things to make my shelf. Lowe's has lots of wood to choose from. They have different types of wood and definitely different sizes. And some cost more than others, and since I'm keeping this project budget friendly, I just decided to go with a standard 2x4 stud, which I think actually measures 1.5x3.5, and, and it was about $7 for one piece of wood. If you're like me and you don't have power tools to cut your own wood, don't worry because Lowe's can actually cut the wood for you. They have a little woodworking station in the back of the store and if you just need help, just push the little button, someone will come back and cut your wood for you. I ended up cutting my wood into one piece that was 33 inches and then two smaller pieces that were four inches each and then I had extra wood left over for future projects. So you can see there that some of the wood is split and we just want to make sure we get rid of all of that. So I just sanded it down until it was smooth as I could get it. So now I'm going to be staining my pieces. I just picked up this small can of Min Wax stain in the color Early American. I think it was less than $5. And then I have these little orange things. I have no idea what they're called, but I found them at Lowe's one time. And you use them to elevate your piece, whatever you're trying to paint, so that it's up off of the ground. So they've come in pretty handy. I've used them several times. So when I first started staining the wood, I thought I had chosen a bad color because it looked super orangey outside, but once it dried and I brought it inside, it looked completely different. It actually turned out really beautiful. I'm moving on and on. On and on. So the next day I brought my pieces back outside after they had fully dried and I set up my little orange triangles. I decided to add a coat of polycrylic to each piece and I wanted to make sure that it was easy to wipe off and clean just in case I splashed any kind of food onto it. I am using this small can of Minwax polycrylic um, and if I remember correctly, this actually cost more than the stain. This was probably around $12 or so, but you really don't need a lot for your shelf. So I'll definitely have lots left over for anything else that I want to work on in the future. And I just used a cheap little paintbrush from Walmart. And I gave it probably two or three light coats. Now we're ready to set up our shelf. Okay, so here's where I ran into, I don't want to call it an issue, it's just something I didn't really think about. 
I have this backsplash piece here that goes to my countertop so the wood doesn't actually go all the way back to the wall. It doesn't sit flush against the wall and I was going to originally make the shelf like this and then screw the two sides into the top piece but if I do that then I'm going to have a gap behind my shelf and I'm not really sure that I want that. I'm reaching up for you. I do prefer the way the shelf looks like this, but I was really concerned about things falling off into the back or even more concerned about the wood being too close to the back burners and getting a little bit too hot. So I just decided to push the top piece back a little bit further. So this is how my shelf looks with the top piece pushed all the way back. It's not how I initially intended it to be, but with the countertops that we currently have, that's the way I'm going to keep it. We do intend on getting new countertops eventually, so when we do, I will push the top piece back forward and then screw those two pieces in. But it's very stable, it works for what I need it to, and I think it looks great. Now I can put my salt and pepper and oil up here and get it off of the side countertops. Okay, before I finish this video up, I just want to add a quick note. As of the day that I'm recording this voiceover, I have had this shelf up for about three weeks. It has never fallen over. It's never so much as moved or budged. I love it. It was such an easy, inexpensive, and quick weekend project, and I highly recommend it if anyone is looking to create some more space in their kitchen. I have everything right here at my fingertips as I'm cooking and it's one of the favorite things that I've ever made. Alright, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you next time.